So this video is not a lecture or a review, rather it is a story, a story behind this book, how this book came into existence, what is the story behind this book. So uh, this is kind of a short motivational story, uh, if I can say so. So this book was published in 2006 and it has been about 14 years since the first publication came out. And this book, the story behind this book is very motivational and very inspirational, especially, uh, especially for me. And that is why I want to share the story with you as well. When Sanjeev sir, the author of Objective Food Science, was compiling the questions, the past year questions for this book, uh, he was just a graduate. And he had limited resources. Obviously, at that time, the uh, internet connectivity and all those issues, they were limited resources. And still, he somehow managed to do it. So during his time in Masters, he started compiling these questions and he started to approach uh, publishers. So he approached about 70 to 80 publishers and he was rejected by most of the publishers, by almost every publisher. And let's be honest, if I face such kind of rejection from a lot of people, from 70 to 80 publishers, that would really dishearten me. But it did not discourage him and he still went on to publish this book. And this book is a huge success across the country. This book could not have been possible without the efforts of the students, without the efforts of the students who have contributed, who have shared the questions to Sanjeev sir, with Sanjeev sir. And uh, why I am telling you this story, there are, there are two reasons why I am telling you this story. So Sanjeev sir did not have all the resources that he wanted and uh, he didn't think that uh, he should complete his master's or he should first of all get a job. So. If you have an idea, there's no right time to implement it. There's no right time to take action for it. Now is the right time. You are never going to have all the resources that you need. So use whatever you can. Use whatever the time you have. Use whatever the resources you have. If you have an idea and if you strongly believe in it, you have to implement it. Use the resources that you have. Use the time you have and implement the idea. Also, the second message that I want to share from this video that I have learned personally from this video is giving back to the society, is sharing back with the society. Sanjeev sir felt the need that, they, uh, that there must be a book through which the students can learn, through which the students can practice the past year paper questions. Because CFTRI and ICR, they do not share the questions. They didn't share the questions back then. They don't share the questions even now. So uh, Sanjeev sir felt the need that there, were, there should be a book through which through which the students can practice the questions, through which the students can assess themselves. And that is his way to share back to the society, to share back with the community of students. And so through this video, I also want to request you, if you are going to prepare for CFTRI exam or ICER exam, if you are going to appear for these exams during this year or during upcoming years, it is a kind request to share the questions as much as possible. This book couldn't have been possible without the efforts of the authors, obviously, but also this book couldn't have been possible without the efforts of the students who have shared back the questions, who have contributed to the questions that are compiled in this book. And that is why this book is dedicated to the community of students. Once you have appeared for the examination, you can share the questions on Instagram via DM on my Instagram handle that is foodtech underscore simplified, or you can also mail these questions to foodtechsimplified at gmail.com.